report these kids to you. Uh, this is just my friend. There are dangerous people who target the innocent, and these predators move quietly, keeping their actions and intentions out of sight. But sometimes, the tables turn, and the hunter becomes the hunted. Repasado, tequila, about half full. Fireball, about half full. Here is one despicable account that will make you wonder what's left of humanity as we know it. Based on your driving, you're driving like, like a total idiot. How much did you have to drink? I messed up. Gotcha. And I did. On July 25, 2022, Trooper Alexander Apodaca assisted Sergeant Lefebvre with a traffic stop on the I-25 northbound off-ramp to Comanche Road. Sergeant Lefebvre stopped the vehicle for failing to maintain its lane and failing to signal. Hey there. Hello. How are you? All right. Just all right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Should you have lessons? Yeah. There's a wall right there between your legs. The man was identified as Jeremy Guthrie, a 41-year-old man. He was seen speeding across multiple lanes and taking a dangerous turn. Sergeant Lefebvre was taken back by Guthrie's erratic driving and asked for his documentation, to which Guthrie admits transparently that he was nervous. Why? We're about to find out. Who are you driving? Huh? That's it. You mentioned that you were nervous? Right. I was nervous while I was behind you driving down I-40. You were in lane number one at times. You went all the way from lane number one all the way over. Then you were signal, had problems keeping the lane, your, 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 your vehicle one lane. And then when you merge on from uh, westbound 40 to northbound 25, you took that curve way too fast. I did. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were going to crash. No, I don't know. I didn't say. I don't think so. I'm saying I thought you were going to crash. The officer then noticed who else was in the car. What followed was the revelation of the vile person Guthrie truly was. Hey, and then you have a bunch of kids in the car. How many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is my friend. That's your friend? Yeah. How old is your friend? 18. That girl's not 18? Huh? That girl's not 18? Yeah. No, she's not. That girl's not 18. Trust me. She don't look 18. Ma'am, how old are you? I didn't ask you your name. I asked you how old, uh, how old you were. Jeremy, turn the car off and come back here and talk to me. All right. Let me see the keys. Thank you. Come on out. Sergeant Lefebvre had caught on to his white lie. When these officers approached the car, they were stunned to find it full of young girls who Guthrie claimed were his friends and insisted with slurred words they were all 18. He then asked Guthrie to dismount the car as it was obvious something fishy was brewing. But upon exiting the vehicle, Guthrie greets the officer with a not so pleasant surprise. Why's your, why, why's your zipper, your buttons down in your crotch? <laughs> well, I probably just forgot. Okay. Come back here. Come, come back here with me, Jeremy. Sit right here. I am. I'll button my zipper. Right? Yeah, please button your zipper. Yeah. I mean, I had to. I had to take it like a, a piss and. Um, Good. Okay. Okay. Jeremy, how much you had to drink tonight? I haven't had anything to drink. Okay, I'm asking you again. Okay, you can barely stand still. Your speech is slurred. I've never heard you speak. You have a strong odor of, of, of an alcoholic beverage emitting from keeping your pockets. 
you have a, you, you have a, yeah, yeah, you actually have an overwhelming odor of an alcoholic beverage emitting from your breath. I know I haven't been drinking. So how much have you been drinking? Based on your driving, you're driving like, like a total idiot. How much had you to drink? I messed up. Gotcha. And I did. Because. But I haven't been drinking. Can you explain why I can smell from your breath every time you breathe and talk to me? The, what is that? Can you explain to me why I can smell the strong odor of an alcoholic beverage emitting from your breath every time you breathe and talk to me? Explain that odor. Oh, well, I don't even know. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't had anything to, to drink. When did you last drink? Like, probably, um, it's been, a, it's been a little while. Like an hour? I would say it's more than a, it, yeah. Like more maybe than, two? Yeah. R like, roughly? Okay. Like two hours. Like. That's fair. Cause you know what, two hours is totally, is, is totally different than, no, I haven't been drinking. Guthrie's blank look and slurred speech indicated inebriation. Sergeant Lafave notices this and keeps questioning him about his vehicle and its passengers. The officer again asks about the kids in Guthrie's vehicle, to which he repeats that they are his friends. Do you think you're safe to drive? Do you think you're safe to drive? Yeah. You do? Absolutely. Once again, you and I will disagree on that too. I don't think you're safe to drive. Just based, on, just based on, on, on how you're driving. All over I-40, again, going way too fast around that curve, okay? The people in the car, who are they? They're just my friends, I, don't, I mean. Do you normally hang out with people who, who are young? Not, not, how, uh. How old are you? I'm uh, 41. 41, okay, hang tight right there, okay? The officer then approaches the kids to ask their ages, and a gruesome truth is uncovered. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How old are you? And don't lie to me. I mean, okay, like I'm not gonna play this, the game where you lie. I know that. I, I know that you're not 18. Okay. So if you want to have attitude, you in the front. Okay. We go about it another way. Simple as that. So if so if I sense any attitude or you give me lip, we'll do it another way. How old are you? Just your age. That's all I need is your age. Cool. Then I guess what? Everybody goes to juvie. Simple as that. Is that what, is that what you guys are? Right now, right now, you guys aren't in trouble. It's, you guys aren't in trouble right now. What's that? Okay, how old are you? 14. Thank you. Simple, simple question. 14. Four, really 14? Yes, sir. Okay. 14. Okay. 13. Okay. 13. Okay. 14. Okay, who is this guy to anybody? Yeah, that's our oldies. And then she knows his kid. Okay. So, that there's your homie? Or, okay, so you, got, you, you guys all need to call your parents. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, and have your parents meet, meet us here. Okay? All of our parents? All your parents. And it has to be your mom or dad. Not sister, it has to be your parents. The sergeant instructs the children to call their parents to come and pick them up. By intercepting Guthrie, the officer unknowingly changed the fate of these six kids. He also contacts some of the parents himself, explaining the situation. As the sergeant spoke to the kids inside, another officer began to ask Guthrie preliminary questions for a field sobriety test. But he wasn't too keen on complying. I don't really want to. You don't want to do them? No. Okay, I'll, I'm just going to let you know, if you don't do the test, I'm going to have to place you under arrest. You want to do the test? All right, well, let's do the test. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying that that you you have a choice, like I said. But just I just want to let you know that I'm gonna place you under arrest if you refuse the test. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to be under arrest. Okay. No. So, <laughs> so do you want to do them? Yes or no? It's a. It's either you're gonna do the test or you're not. I'll do it again. Okay, then, so then say from H to S. Don't sing the album. Well, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Okay, so for the next one, I'm going to have you count down from the number 62 to the number 47. Okay. Derek, I'm going to figure it out. 
Backwards, you're going eight. I are you going backwards? I just don't understand. The, uh, which is in there. I told you to go forward, remember? From me? So H to S. It's pretty simple. Oh, oh. H I A S. Blunt it around me. Blunt it around. Blunt it around. All right, so you're gonna be placed under arrest for DWI, okay? Don't, don't forget his phone. Okay. I'll put it. I'll put. I'll put it in the front seat. Let's go over here to the. It'll be easier. <laughs> Guthrie's struggles with the tests and open bottles of tequila and fireball whiskey were both found in the car during the test. He was subsequently placed under arrest for driving while intoxicated. DWI. He's got uh, repasado, tequila, about half full, fireball, about half full. It's a uh, 750 milliliter. You're under arrest for DWI, okay? The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse or laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? Okay. Yeah. Yes or no? Do I take the test right now? No, 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 no. Yes or no? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. After Guthrie was arrested, he was charged with driving while under the influence and six counts of child maltreatment. He is later also charged with multiple counts of assault. Prosecutors allege that he began a relationship with one of the year olds in his vehicle when she was twelve, and that she became but suffered a miscarriage. The twin was also in the car, and he allegedly sent her lewd texts, is suspected of raping her too, and talked about how much he loved the fuckers. It makes me sick. I'm livid about what he did to my granddaughters, the girl's grandmother told, and he's just a very, very sick person. However dark the world may be, we can still count on these good officers trying to bring evil to its knees. If you have any story on how law enforcement helped you in some way, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, consider showing your support by subscribing, and stay tuned for the next installment. Who knows, it might just be right up your alley. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.